Um, how impressed were you with the general performance yesterday? I thought it was too slow in the first half. I thought Wales set up nice and compact, but it was too slow. And I'm, what I mean by too slow as well is it's, it's even at the back. When it goes to John Stones, it's one, two, yeah. three yeah. touches, and then he played to Harry Maguire. One, two, three touch, mm -hmm. and then to the fullback. And that's just too slow. When you're playing against a team that are, that are sat there deep and hard to, to break down, yeah. it's got to be out your feet, zip across, yeah. out your feet, zip across, and then you can try and shift. And it was just, oh, yeah. you know, I was sat with, with Hugh and Crookie, and we were all a bit like, mm. this is so mm. slow. You know, especially when you're there live and you're watching it and you're thinking, mm. you know, at, at, at certain points, John Stones would get it and it was yeah. walking pace. Yeah. And yeah. I, just, I just don't like that. But, but we had complete control, so mm. it wasn't as if it was disastrous. Do you think with, with this England side, they're kind of, um, they play their opponent, so the, the level almost will, will rise as the opponent arises? arises? You know what I mean? As the opponent gets Improved. better in, <laughs> as you go deeper in the competition, do you feel like they're going to step it up a level with them? I think the, the, the teams that we would say are probably better than England and that would cause us a, a real, real test, I think we do play differently anyway. We'll play more as a, a counter-attacking side. Mm. I'm not sure that we're fantastic at trying to break teams down. I think we can be a bit slow and players running into the same positions um, or in the same areas and it getting just too, too congested in there. And our fullbacks weren't adventurous enough either. So... But against the, the, the better teams, they're going to have a lot of the ball. And actually, we showed in the second half, once Wales opened up a bit, we looked we looked terrific. Ali did like having um, Carl Walker back, though. I enjoyed seeing him on the pitch. Oh, 100%. Mm. I mean, everybody understandably talks about his pace because he is absolutely lightning. But the physicality, man, I mean, he, he really puts himself about. I think he's he's top defender. Uh, I really continue to hope that Gareth goes with a four. I, I, I really do. Um, and Walker's in the, in the team. Mentioned the, you guys earlier on, back four. I'm really delighted for and with Harry Maguire. But that point that Dean makes is absolutely spot on. You know, I felt England, when we were sitting watching the game first half, in the back defensive areas, they were taking three touches when it should have been two, two should have been one. They always took an extra touch. Um, and we're particularly playing against a team like Wales when you've got to break them down the secret is you've got to keep the ball moving and if you have got somebody that can beat somebody you've got to get the ball to them as quickly as possible I'm a little bit of a concern for England looking at them they don't have a you know a, a, an Mbappe who just goes by you with blistering pace a Neymar who'll beat you with a trick I know he's injured at the moment I just don't know if they've got somebody in their team that can go just take somebody on and go by them and force people to open up defences mm. to open up but it'll be interesting to see England the further they go in the tournament because they will, there'll be heavier, far heavier emphasis put on them defensively. But I don't necessarily disagree with Dean. I think it might suit them in attacking areas. Dean, how important do you think Jordan Henderson is to this side? Would you start him in the next, in the next game against Senegal? He'd do my head in to play with him. Really? Yeah. Why? Because he shouts so much. Yeah. <laughs> Again, because we, we had great seats and we were right there. Just and hear he was yeah. absolutely screaming at Phil Foden at times, both good and bad. Where if he didn't quite close down enough, he screamed at him. When he did close down, it was it was so loud. It'd be like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, doing, I get I'm, it. I'm, doing, I'm doing it. But I guess that's what he brings, doesn't it? He, yeah. he brings that intensity. Um, he brings that level of competitiveness all of the time. And I think sometimes we can lack that. We, you know, with that slowness, he's the one that's trying to lift everybody mm -hmm. to get them going. Um, I probably wouldn't enjoy playing with him because of that, but <laughs> it's great to watch. <laughs> I and, and I like to see it from yeah, an England know, player. That, that he's got that real passion yeah. that he doesn't want this to settle. He doesn't yeah. like this tempo. Um, and he was trying to sort yeah. of <laughs> gee the lads up. Yeah.